So today, I'm going to show you how to add new Private Play AI team setups in Frosty Editor for PVDDB2. First, open the Gameplay folder, open AI, single click Character Sets, and right click the Base Set Unlock Asset, and select Duplicate. Change the name to a name of your choice. I'm going to make it Plant Rock P Set Unlock Asset, and hit Save. Scroll down and open that asset, change the number in the identifier, change the debug unlock ID to match the name of your new asset, then find the AI spawn blueprints in the data explorer, right click that, select duplicate, and give it a custom name again. I'll call it plant rock pea blueprints. Hit save, single click the new file, and assign it to the AI spawn blueprints. Next, hit the three dots, open asset, open the spawn data list. Now you can replace the spawn datas with spawn datas of your choice. I'm going to type in rock, open the teams folder, open plants, single click AI spawn unlocks. Select the rock piece spawn data and assign it here. Single click character sets again and open all character sets. Open data, open the unlocks. Right click the first one and hit insert after. Find your new character set unlock asset and assign it there. After you do that, type in AI spawn control into the search bar. Open game modes, open game mode prefabs, single click local play and open local play AI spawn control. Open the objects, open item one, open AI character sets, right click the first one, hit insert after, and then do the same thing you did for the all character sets. We've done quite a lot, so let's save the project and I'll call it rock P AI team. All right, now let's add some metadata for it. Open the UI folder, scroll down, single click metadata, and open UI character sets metadata. Open items, right click the first one, hit insert after, copy the first item, paste it onto the new one. Open that new item, change the name to the name of your choice. I'm going to make it, oops, all rock peas. Open item IDs and change the number to the identifier you made earlier. Right click the file, choose export, save it as a BIN. Right click it again and select revert. Right click it one more time, hit import, and import that BIN file you just exported. Save it again. And it's time to launch the game to see if we have a private play Rock PAI team. There's the team name. Now let's confirm that it actually works. And rock peas are spawning. Special thanks to Bruno Dominguez for suggesting this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and if you're in America, 
Have a happy Thanksgiving.